Hello and welcome to this video on conditional formatting. What is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting will let you format your spreadsheet based on values um, and based on conditions that you choose. So you can choose those conditions that are important to you. Why would I choose conditional formatting? Well, I can quickly bring attention to important data. I can also bring attention to specific data that's based on conditions that I want to look at. Conditional formatting definitely makes it easier to analyze data because it makes it easier for me to find that data that I'm most interested in. And finally, there's a lot less formatting by hand if you use for conditional formatting for your spreadsheets. So let's dive into the demo where I'll show you three types of basic conditional formatting. First of all, let's have a look where we find the conditional formatting option. So I'm here in the ribbon, I'm up at the top and in the home tab and about halfway across the screen, you'll see there's a styles section here and conditional formatting is in that styles section. If I click on conditional formatting, I get a number of options, and these are what we're going to look at in a bit more detail in the next few minutes. The first type of conditional formatting that I want to show you is based on values, where we're going to highlight cells where the value is either greater than or less than a certain value that we choose. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to use column 2, which is the population, and this has numbers in there already. So this will help us to demo this functionality because we're looking at numbers which are greater than or less than a specific number. I've chosen the whole of column two and I'm going to click on conditional formatting. Choose the highlight cell rules option and these two options at the top, greater than and less than. Let's have a look at greater than first. It's already chosen a certain value for me, not sure where that's come from, but let's get rid of that and we'll put in our own value. We're going to choose 10 million here. And you can see that as I type, the conditional formatting is actually showing me at that point how it's gonna look. So um, here I'm finding it difficult to see how many noughts I've got, but actually it's a bit easier to see within the data here. So I think I need to add another naught there. And there we go. We can see that that's now highlighting every single cell where there's a value of over 10 million. We can also change the options in terms of the colors. And instead of light red, I'll fill this with green and dark green text. Click on OK. And there you go. Very quickly, I can see all of those where the population is greater than 10 million. Handy hint with conditional formatting, these rules can build up on your spreadsheet and within the conditional formatting tool, down here at the bottom, you'll see there is an option to clear rules. And what we want to do here is clear the rules from the entire sheet so that we don't get uh, kind of the remnants of the other rules um, interfering with this demo. Now I said that I would show you how to highlight those cells where the value is less than. And we're going to do that now. So choose the column two again, just click on the top of the column, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, less than, we're going to use the same number, 10 million. So here we've got less than, and I think that's 10 million. There we go. And I want to fill those in light red with dark red text. That's okay. Click on okay. And just something to note, because we chose the whole of this column, you will see that all of those empty cells are also uh, highlighted because in theory, the value in them is less than 10 million. Easy way to fix that is we clear these rules from the entire sheet. We choose just the data that we're interested in, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, less than, and then we can do our 10 million here, and that will show me everything just in our data that is under 10 million. And the final thing for this one is let's clear that so that we can move on to the next demo. The second type of conditional formatting I'm gonna show you is how to quickly spot where there might be duplicates in your data. In order to demo this, I'm going to copy exactly two of these rows. So let's uh, copy these, copy, and then 
insert those copied cells at the bottom. So you can see now we have two Uruguays and two Paraguays. Just do an escape there so that we're not selecting anything. And I want to check for duplicates in this first column. Select column one, click on conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and if I go down to the bottom, you'll see there is an option already for me, which is duplicate values. And it's telling me it's going to look for duplicates. You can also choose to look for unique values. So taking out the duplicates. And again, we can choose how we want to fill and format those cells. So let's do a green fill, click on OK. And very quickly, I can see that there's duplicates within my data. We don't want these duplicates, so let's delete the second values. And you can see now that the formatting has also disappeared from the original rows appear at the top. Let's go into conditional formatting and show you another handy tool. Manage rules down here at the bottom. And that shows us that that rule is still there, so duplicate values. And the format is that green text. It's still there, however, it's obviously not showing me that there's any duplicates because we have actually removed those duplicates from the data. And while I'm in here, I am actually going to delete this rule and we can move on to the next and final type of conditional formatting that I'm gonna show you in this video. The final basic type of conditional formatting that I'm gonna show you is a bit more to do with statistics. So let's say we're interested in the statistics of the South American uh, population. Again, I'm going to choose column two here because I'm interested in these population numbers. And I'm going to click on conditional formatting. However, this time, instead of highlighting rules, I'm going to go to top and bottom rules. And I want to look for all of those countries which have an above average population within this data set. And you can see, again, there's several different options here. We can look at the top 10 items, the top 10%, but I'm going to look here at those which are above the average within this data set. Click on above average. Uh, again, we get the same options with that. We can also do a custom format if we're so inclined. I'm going to put this in yellow for the time being. Okay. There we go. Very easily, I've highlighted all of those items in this data set that have a population greater than the average. And that's three types of basic conditional formatting. There's a lot more to that tool. So like this video if it was useful. Subscribe to the channel. I will look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thanks.